Yo, what is up, Nerdy Squad? It's your boy Otis back with another video. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that notification bell. So you are notified every time your boy does a video. So we are back with another Jonathan Majors article. This is nothing that he's done. You know, not more crazy stuff. But this is a star from the Marvels trying to suggest on how to save Jonathan Majors' job, as you can see right here in the article. So let's jump into this and see what the star, or one of the stars of the recent Marvel's film, has to say. So it says, one of the stars of the recent huge box office flop, the Marvel's, has a plan to save Jonathan Majors, the Avengers King, and pretty much the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, I didn't mean to do this last week, but because, you know, it was Thanksgiving, it was a busy week, I decided to go ahead and do it, save it for Monday. Honestly, I'm not really feeling this suit. It's just so dark and boring compared to which is one before. They couldn't have lightened it up some more. So it says here, it is no secret that Marvel Studios is struggling. After 15 years of dominating the box office, the global box office to a degree previously unimaginable, the Disney-owned company has begun to stumble. With Thor Love and Thunder 2022... Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, and most recently, the Marvels severely underperforming at the box office. The Marvels, in fact, is the biggest bomb that the studio has produced so far, pulling in just a fraction of what previous movies had. Combine that with the sinking viewership numbers of Disney+, Plus, shows like Secret Invasion and She-Hulk, Attorney of Law, and things are looking great. Things aren't looking great for the future of the franchise. Um, I didn't really care for She-Hulk Attorney of Law. I think I maybe got three or four episodes in before I just completely cut it out. It just got too corny to watch. Secret Invasion, I like the the spy kind of thing of it. I like that. Um, I like that, you know, when it comes to movies like James Bond type stuff. But, I mean, the CGI wasn't really good, and I've said it before, and I'll keep on saying it. I feel like that should have been a whole saga in the MCU. Not everything can work for a six-episode arc if, unless it's really pushing the MCU forward. And that should have been a whole saga, not just, you know, a six-episode arc. That's just my opinion. So let's read on here. Um, it says here, Marvel's single biggest problem might be Jonathan Majors, the actor. It intended to be the next big bad of the franchise after the demise of Thanos, a.k.a. Josh Brolin. Majors was cast to play the central villain of the multiverse saga, playing different variants on the classic character King the Conqueror, including he who remains Victor t -t 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 Timely, uh, Centurion, Ramatut, and Immortus. Never heard of him. Um, the plan was for the next phases, uh, I'm sorry, for the next phases dubbed the multiverse saga of the MCU to lead up to Avengers the King Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars in a naked imitation of Infinity War and Endgame with Jonathan Majors presumably being the key thread between all of it. Then, Jonathan Majors was arrested on charges of assault, strangulation, and harassment against a former partner, plunging both his career and the multiverse saga into jeopardy. Majors was dropped by his reputation, I'm sorry, his, rep his representation had movies shelved, and it is currently set to begin trial on November 29th, well, it's coming up soon. All of that means that Marvel's plans for the Dain for the King Dynasty and the rest of the MCU have been thrown into confusion at the same time as it faces dwindling enthusiasm from fans and diminished box office grosses. So I see a lot of people posting about like videos just saying that the MCU should just like you know just just stop, die off, let it go, like your high jazz run, but fans don't care about movies anymore. And I don't think that that's necessarily true. What I think it is, is that Marvel has really lost their way without, you know, Tony Stark, without Captain America, without Thor, you know, the three-headed monster, and without having a central plan to, you know, lead this new MCU into, you know, the next, you know, endgame. You know, fans just don't care anywhere. There's so much product out, especially with the TV shows, it's hard to really get invested into this stuff because you got so much stuff to watch now. You know, fans just aren't interested in TV shows. I think Marvel should just stick to the movies. I've said it. People have said it. I've seen on YouTube. Just stick to the movies, Disney. Just stick to the movies, Marvel. 
and y'all think y'all will be okay as long as y'all can get rid of all the extra fat that's taking up you know y'all movies and chart of course to the next Avengers Endgame. So let's get into this article, the rest of this article, and see what has to be said. All of that remains that Marvel's plan for the King Dynasty and the rest of the MCU have been thrown into confusion. Okay, so I think I read that part. Um, okay, reportedly the writer and director of the King Dynasty have been removed and is up in the air um, of whether Jonathan Majors will remain the central villain of the franchise or if Marvel will hang things over to Dr. Doom. Um, so going from there, however, Iron, I'm sorry, Iman Vellani, Ms. Marvel herself, revealed her idea of how the upcoming film Secret Wars could be reconfigured, possibly putting less emphasis on Jonathan Majors as Kang. In an interview with New Rockers, uh, Rockstars, excuse me, Vellani po- poised, sorry, that Kang could actually be combined with two other major villains, saying, I think it would make sense for Kang to be a version of the Molecule Man, Mo- Molecule Man, where he's existing in every single universe, and there's different variants of him. We've already seen that, so that makes sense. But also, I feel like he could be the Molecule Man and the Beyonder all at once. The only time I ever heard or seen anything about the Beyonder was in um the 90s Spider-Man film. So moving on, it says the Molecule Man and the Beyonder are both immensely powerful villains in the Marvel cinema, you know, in the Marvel comics, excuse me, with powers that can impact multiverse universes, convenient for the multiverse saga. Although con- continuity can't speak has altered both characters multiple times, there are some consistent characteristics. Molecule Man is a human named Owen Reese who gains the ability to control matter on a molecular level, which eventually levels up the power to affect reality itself. The Beyonder, on the other hand, has a much more complex history, but suffice it to say that he is a key figure of the original comic book miniseries Secret Wars. Um, If Kevin Feige decides to listen to one of his up-and-coming stars, this could lead to a whole bunch of options. For one thing, it could help the studio to tone down the importance of Jonathan Majors and King by supplanting him with other characters. It could also be a nifty way to completely replace him while still keeping a cosmic level threat in the Avengers movies in the future. Um, we certainly know that Marvel Studios needs to do something. Why not this? So, I mean, I guess, you know, it's like his character exists on a, um, you know, on a different level, you know, in a different multiverse is what I'm trying to say, right? So why not try and have some version of him stick around? Like, I didn't mind this character, but the elephant in the room is the fact that he was beaten by, uh, Ant-Man and his ants. And then I like the one that we saw, if there was a different version f- from this one, in uh, Loki. But obviously it feels like that one has been written off. So I think there's still some way they can present him as the big bad if they just grab one of the variants and make him the big bad. You know, Marvel and Disney just have to find some way to present um, him as the next big level threat. I don't think it's too late. I just think that they need to chart a course and find a way to bring... Man, Jonathan Majors, you know, big bad villain into the light. Make him that big badass like Thanos was for the MCU for the past 10 to 15 years. And like I said, I don't think that, you know, the MCU is dying, but it is struggling very, you know, a lot. And I think that, you know, like I said, Marvel has got to get course corrected to the next Avengers Endgame, which is, you know, um, the King Dynasty and Secret Wars, but I think it's either the Secret Wars or the King Dynasty. One of those are supposed to be a reboot button for a soft reboot for the MCU. But they gotta fix it. Is basically what I'm trying to say here. They gotta fix it because I feel like there's still interest, but because there's so much stuff out there, you know, with movies and TV shows, and nothing is straightforward anymore. Fans aren't interested. You know what I mean? So that's just my opinion. But I do want to know y'all's opinion. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you all think. Um, please make sure you hit that like button. Everybody who watches this video, anybody new, hit that subscribe button. I'm working my way up to 1,300 subscribers. Um, please watch this video all the way through. Watch all my videos all the way through. Look up for my live streams. 
Um, your boy is grinding towards getting to 4,000 watch time hours next year. I really want to be a monetized YouTuber and do this and get paid to do this, but I need your help. So please do all those things. Like, comment, subscribe. And also, anybody that wants to donate to the channel, I have a link to that in the description box below. In the description box below. Peace. I'll catch you on the next video.